Y'all, I got a new toy. Come with me and let's talk about this and all the other Vigo garden things I have going on in the garden. Hello and welcome to Kim's Cozy Corner. I'm Kim and I just happen to be out here finishing up one of my Vigo Garden raised beds. Now these are metal raised beds. I've already put three in place and I thought I'd just go ahead and add one more. Now I put <laughs> my Vigo raised beds my metal raised beds together in my house because it was quite chilly outside and now that the weather's warmed up I thought I would bring that fourth one out and finish setting it up. This happens to be the 9-in-1 Vigo metal raised bed where I have, these are 17 inch beds. They are, they have a warranty of like 20 years. They are made out of amazing material and I'll just put that just here below. And these are so much better than wooden raised beds because it's gonna give me more value for my money because I'm not replacing it every four or five years. But this is my fourth configuration of the Vigo metal raised beds. In this particular bed, we are gonna be adding herbs, maybe some carrots and maybe some onions, but it's still too early in my part of the country to plant some of those vegetables just yet. But now that I have it in place, my next step is to add some cardboard to the bottom. And I have some tree limbs just behind me here that I'm gonna break up into teeny little pieces and put that in next. And then we will add our soil. Now we only need good loose soil in the top, I would say six inches or so. And everything below that can be brown matter, green matter, cardboard, twigs, limbs, anything like that. But you want your good compost and your good soil in those top layers. Now, I probably won't finish getting this one done today because something just came in the mail. And this is a self-watering Vigo. I think they call it the tomato planter. And it's self-watering. And we're gonna go over and put that one together. But wanted to finish this one up as far as getting it in place before we move to that other bed. And let me quickly swing around and show you where I've already started putting together the other metal raised beds. So there's a bed on the end. I have another bed right there. And just beside it, here's a third raised bed. So we have three over here. Now I already have the cardboard and the wood and some depleted soil in these two. They can use some more and I have plenty. And there's the one that we're just setting up. And we have one more over here. This is the fourth metal raised bed by Vigo Garden. And this one's gonna have sweet potatoes in it. I can't wait for the season for that. But again, we are super early. And it's not time to put anything in those beds yet, but I got them ready. Now that good, rich, um, potting mix, that good rich compost, I don't want to put those in place yet because it's not time to plant and I don't want to wash away all of those good nutrients. So for now, these beds are going to just sit here until it's time to plant in them. Let's move over to my new toy that just came in the mail. Okay, I am over to my wonderful present that just came in the mail. And this is the Vigo planter series. It's called the self-watering rolling tomato planter pot with trellis. And I've already peeked, so I'm not even pretending like I haven't, but I've already peeked inside. 
and this has a self-watering system and you can roll it around on the patio if you need to. So let's get it out the box. Let's turn it around. So here's the front of the container and this has to do with the watering system. Zero, 60, 30, 90. I don't know why it won't stay put together, but we will see in a second here. All right, let's see if we can follow the directions and let's see if this is only a four step direction like the metal raised beds. Now this comes with a trellis as well. Let's see what's inside. Okay, there's nothing inside. That's just the um, watering system. Self-watering, so we're gonna be putting water in this little compartment right here. We put water in here and it will self-water and we will be able to see how much water is in the reservoir and when we need to fill it up again. So this is the parts. I think this is for the trellis. All right, this has five steps to the directions. Okay, five steps to the directions. Let's see what we gotta do. The first thing it says I need to do is fill this planter with potting soil. It wants me to fill it with potting, potting soil first. All right, so the first step is to fill it with potting soil. Let me show you what the inside looks like. So this is the bottom of it. And then I don't know if you can see it or not, but there are little holes inside and they got these little cups down here. And this allows the plants to get to the water, which is in the reservoir below. All right, so the first thing it says I need to do is add some potting soil. I am using Fox Farm Ocean Forest. Here's my Fox Farm Ocean Forest potting soil. So let's get that put in there. Not quite enough. Let's add just a little bit more. Now I'm sure I can use any kind of potting soil out there. I prefer Fox Farm, Ocean Forest, Miracle Grow, Moisture Control, or Pro Mix Moisture Control. Those are my preferred brands of potting soil. All right, we got the potting soil in. Now I left my directions. The next step is to go ahead and plant. Now it's a little early to be planting where I live. Okay, I started this wrong y'all. I knew something didn't seem right. So I was reading where you need to fill the planter, but that's the second part. The first part of this is the assembly and I was on the wrong side of the directions. So the first thing that I'm supposed to do is put in, um, attach the four wheels. So from an assembly standpoint, there are five steps as well. So they like their five step processes. So the first thing I need to do is assemble by putting on the wheels. There's one and we'll get all four of those assembled. Y'all mom's sitting over there laughing at me. <laughs> like I don't know how to read directions. <laughs> now it's rolling. <laughs> so I got the wheels on. That was the first step. Step number two says push the water gauge into the planter. Here's my water gauge. Okay, I need to put it back together. Let's put it back together. Okay. Let 
The next step is assembling the trellis. And I have all of the trellis pieces here. Now it's a little early for us to be planting outdoors. So this planter in my mind is perfect to plant outside or indoors as well. So I'm gonna start this planter indoors and then we're gonna move this planter outdoors when the weather suits it. Now it says that it's a tomato planter but we are going to put cucumbers in here and then maybe tomatoes later in the season. Now let's see if I can follow directions. That's my goal anyway. <laughs> y'all, I can't follow direct. It's late in the day, y'all, for me. I am an early bird. <laughs> So these pieces right here, I need to make the lungs parts go up and down. I know that didn't look right. And then it's, then it's right. <laughs> oh goodness, y'all, I make mistakes. Especially when it's not first thing in the morning. I don't do well at night. <laughs> but I gotta take advantage of this good weather, which we don't have that much this time of year and I can get outside and do a little bit of work. Now, that looks right. <laughs> Here we go. Now this is the right size. <laughs> what I was doing before y'all, that wasn't right. <laughs> Let's get the next one ready. Let's get the straight pieces. Okay, next step is to put this on top. And then we add some more. These. Y'all, I'm getting it. I might be slow, but I'm getting it. And there's, you don't have to go all the way up if you don't need it, but we're gonna go ahead and put it all the way together even though I don't have a super tall tomato plant in here yet. There we go. It's looking good. Do I want to go all the way up? Yeah, we got to use all the parts and pieces. All right. Let's get this last piece put on here. We've already figured out how to plant since we did that part first. <laughs> we got to go back and finish getting something planted as well. This is a nice little cage. Let's make sure I do the top part correctly. Okay, I connect all four pieces into this little thing and attach. Okay, simple enough. Now there will be a link in my description to the Vigo Garden, to this particular unit if you're interested in it. And then maybe you can follow directions better than me in putting it together. There she is. She's all put together. Look at that. All put together. And from a watering standpoint, I only water in this one place right here. It'll let me know how much water is in here because there's a gauge on it. So here's my watering gauge. So I'll know how much water is in the unit and if I need to add more. And this right here tells me how much water I have in it. So if I only want it to show 30 or 60 or 90. 
So we got it put together. I followed all the steps. I put the soil in already, so we're ready to go with that. Now it says I need to add the plant and the water. And when I add the water, it's going to make my little gauge here rise. This gauge on the side here is going to start rising. And when it gets all the way down to the bottom, that's when I need to add water. And when it's all the way up to the top, it's full. The maximum water capacity on here is nine liters. And so that's what this spot is here. Nine liters is the maximum. The minimum water capacity is 1.5 liters. And so I'm gonna keep mine up here because I wanna keep the maximum water capacity in it for now, especially since my plants are gonna stop about right here. So there are no roots all the way down to the bottom. So I'm gonna make sure we're keeping more water in this unit so that it can make sure that it's getting all the way up to where the roots are. It says when you're using it indoors, you can use this stopper on it to keep it from leaking. When you're using it outdoors, they recommend removing the stopper so that if it rains, rainwater won't overfill it and it get clogged up, right? So it says outdoors, remove this stopper that's on this piece right here. But we're going to be indoors first before we move it outdoors. So I'll leave the stopper on for now. Now Vigo Gardens also have live plants now that you can buy from there. You can buy transplants from Vigo Garden. So I have a cucumber. This is a patio snacker cucumber plant that we're going to put in here for now. And then after I bring this outdoors, we'll probably trade it out for a tomato plant. Y'all, I love my tomato plants. We're planting over 100 again this year. So we are going to add a little fertilizer. These are all my steps. So add some fertilizer. Dr. Earth All Purpose 222. N, P, and K, adding that right to the top. And then we're gonna dig a hole here and we're gonna add some mycos. Here's the mycos. It helps the root system pull in water and all the nutrition from the soil to help get it a quicker start. And then we're gonna add our patio snacker. Now this is designed for tomatoes. So an indeterminate tomato plant can go in here, but we are using a cucumber for now because I want it set up. I don't want to wait to tomato season. In my zone, I cannot be outside with cucumbers or tomatoes, just to be honest. So I got my cucumber plant in here. They also sent me a jewel mix nasturtium, which I let dry out. It's not looking its best, but we're going to plant it anyway. Nasturtiums, I'm going to have it, my goal is to have them overflowing from the side of the container. If this one dies completely, that's okay, because I'm going to be planting more from seeds. But I figured that would be nice, something climbing up and vining on the trellis and something leaning over the side of the container and trailing down. I think that's going to be a beautiful mix. And who doesn't like nasturtiums? If that one survives anyway. <laughs> and that's the setup. It's all in there. All I got left to do is water. We're going to bring the hose over and we're going to get the water in here so we can watch it rise. I'm not going to fill it all the way up because I do need to take this indoors because it is really too early to be outside with cucumbers, but we are going to get it started. I want you to be able to see this. If you are living farther south than I am, you might be putting tomatoes outside. So you need to get this information on this planter as quickly as possible because you may have a tomato ready to go in it. So this is where you water right here, this compartment. And good, you won't lose it. It just sits over to the side. And I am going to Fill this up, and I'm on the wrong side. I want you to be able to see as this starts to go up. 
There it goes. It's starting to inch up. It's filling up. Now, when this gets completely full, you know you're good to go. And you don't need to add any more water to it when it's at the full line. But since I'm taking this indoors, I don't want it too heavy. But that's it. Now, I know my root systems are not that great right now. So I know that the root systems are not reaching down to where we have the water. So I'm going to give it a little water up top just to get it started. So this is my new Vigo Garden toy, I should say. But this is the Vigo Garden self-watering rolling tomato planter pot with trellising. If you're interested in one of these Vigo Garden rolling tomato planters, please check out my link below and it will take you to the website where you can purchase one of these. Now, I think this is perfect for a patio. I think it's perfect for indoors, depending on what you want to grow in it, but it may be perfect for you as well. Until next time, and I hope there will be a next time that you come back to Kim's Cozy Corner. Bye.